Hello, I am Bernadette Doyle. This is Bernadette TV. And today we're talking about how to grow a business and specifically how to increase revenues in the business. And listen, I love making things simple, bring them down, simple steps. There's only three ways to do it. Three, she says, putting up two fingers. It's because it's hard for me to put that with third finger. Right, there's only three ways to do it. One, you increase the volumes of leads coming into the business. This video isn't about that, but we do have videos where we cover that. We'll add a link to that. Right, second is you increase the conversion rate, how you turn those leads, those interested raised hands into paying business. Again, this video isn't about that, but we will add videos at the end of this that will teach you more about that. This video is about how you increase the value per customer. So every customer that you have, you get them to spend more money with you. So I wanna show you five different ways that you can do that. And the cool thing is, once you start to use these five ways, and once you start to adopt these regularly in your business, you're gonna find that you're gonna increase the value of every single customer with you. And what that means is you make more money, sometimes with less customers. Acquiring customers is expensive. You have to pay for lead generation. You have to pay for sales conversion, even if it's just commission to a team. But if every customer is spending more money with you, that means more revenue and ideally profit for the business overall. Makes sense? Right, so let's talk about the five ways. So number one, would you like some fries with that? Yeah, it's the old classic from McDonald's to add an upsell. Now, I know you've heard this before. I know you're looking at me going, oh Bernadette, that's hardly ground breaking. Okay, fair enough. But are you doing this with every single transaction that happens in your business? Mm, not so cocky now, are we? No, because you and I both know you're not. I even know sitting here that we don't do this with every single transaction in my business. However, this isn't a contest about who's doing it more. It's about recognizing the opportunities to grow. So get into the habit of every single time a transaction takes place in your business of having an upsell. So if you're selling products online, this means that on the order form, you have like a bump offer. You offer people something extra. Or it could be that just after people check out, they've already handed you their credit card for the first transaction, you offer them something else. And in an online business, you can have something called a one-click upsell, which will actually, you know, it makes it, they don't have to input their credit card details again. Those two things have made a huge difference to my business. And there was a year in my business as I was growing my online business where I didn't focus so much on lead generation. I focused on making more out of the customers I had. And I tripled my business that way. So don't disregard this. Okay, so the next thing you can do is something called bundling. And bundling is where if people have bought one particular product or service from you, that you can bundle them up with related products and services. And so we call this a bucket offer. So uh, we used to have a situation where we'd sell people a masterclass, and that could be something that was like $47 or $97. And then as people were purchasing that, we would show them all the other related masterclasses and offer them a special discount if they bought all, all at once. Now this was a win-win because what it meant our customers we're getting more related content at an incredible discount. And for us as the business, we are now, we've just massively increased the value of that transaction. And so that sale has immediately become more valuable to us. So bundling is a fantastic uh, way to go. Now, this is a very obvious one, but it's amazing how people resist this. And this is simply to raise your prices. Now, I'm not saying, hey, just up your price for no good reason. But you definitely want to look at your prices. And I would say if you're in a service business, if you're someone who is currently selling your time, in most cases that I've come across, I would say most people are either undercharging, which is they're not charging enough to even cover their costs of being in business and make a decent profit, or um, there's an opportunity that they could charge more. And so I, I would really, I could do like a whole other series just on this topic. In fact, I did shameless plug. I have something called the Pricing for Profit Bootcamp, which would really help if, you know, this is resonating for you. But 
it, when you raise your prices, you need to do more than just add a zero at the end. You need to get better at explaining the value. You know, a lot of people attempt to lo use low price as a selling tool. They're like, well, you know, if I if my price is less than my competition, they're not going to ask so many questions. Or, you know, maybe people will just see the value and I'm not going to have to take the time to spell out why my product or service is so amazing. But, you know, you're missing tons of opportunities. So if you can get better at explaining the value of what you do and really helping people to see the value, and that is a skill, but it's a skill that you can learn. Just like, you know, you learned to walk, to talk, you know how to do that stuff, you can learn and you can master this skill. And it's one worth investing in because it will help you raise your prices and make more money. Now, the next area to look at is how can you turn a one-time sale into a repeat transaction? So instead of being a one-off sale, it becomes a continuity purchase. Now, you will see them do this on infomercials all the time, where maybe you go and you buy a certain type of face cream, and then they let you know that every month now, they'll be sending you um, an automatic re repeat of that order. Or, you know, it happens a lot in the supplement business as well. So you might say, but Bernadette, I'm not selling face cream or, or, or vitamins, but think if someone has come to you to buy one thing, is there a way that you can give them more of that same thing? Because they're likely going to have that need again. So for example, let's say you're selling a motivational seminar and people are going to come and they're going to get excited and they're going to get new ideas. Well, why not sign them up? to um, a, a club where they could get access to that seminar month after month. It could even be online. It might not be where you have to physically deliver it in a room, but they're still getting that same um, energy. They're getting those same great ideas. It could be a tactic that you send out to your customers every single month. So there's definitely a way to apply this in your business. And you know, I really encourage you to look about how you can get that continuity because having that continuity Revenue is the difference between being in business and just having something that makes you money. In a true business, you know that you have systems in place to bring more revenue in month after month after month. So continuity is a really great way to do it. And then the final way that I want to talk about today, because it isn't the final way, obviously there's lots of ways that you can increase the value per customer, is to create a higher value offering. So let's say the average transaction, let's say when people come to you, let's say you're a coach and you sell a $2,000 package. Well, there is a percentage of the people who are currently buying your $2,000 package that would buy a higher value package if it was on offer. You just haven't offered it to them yet. And so when you create a higher value offering, what trips people up with this is you think, oh yeah, but my customers wouldn't pay that, they couldn't afford it. That's the whole point of having a higher value premium product is not for everybody. It's not for your entire customer list. It's for those people that want more, they want something special, they want the premium offer, they want to be the VIP, and they've got the money to do that. So it's like, you know, if you're Virgin Atlantic, you're not selling your upper class, you know, tickets to the entire plane. That would miss the point entirely. There is economy, there is premium economy, and then there is upper class. So it's having the offerings that will, you know, will, will suit the different range of customers that you have. But you might only have to sell one of those high value package to equal five of your lower value package, you know, a $10,000 offer versus a $2,000 offer. And what that does overall is it increases your value per customer. So that's why we do it. So five things that you can do right there to increase your value per customer. The question is, which you're gonna do first, where are you gonna start, and how can you turn this from an idea into an action, into something that's gonna bring money into your business ASAP. So I'd love to see your comments below on how you're gonna do that. And if you want to see more videos on the other things that I mentioned at the start of this in terms of how you can um, increase the number of leads through the door, how you can be get better at converting those raised hands into paying business, stick around and check out more videos of Bernadette TV that we have for you. So that's it from me. I look forward to seeing you on the very next episode. Bye-bye. Hello. You. Yes, you. Yes, you. If you like my mummy's videos, my mummy is Bernadette Doyle, by the way, you need to hit the subscribe button or the like button. It would be very appreciated.